My name is Cornelius, and this is my aha moment. And I was born in Los Angeles, California, but I was raised in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, I was raised in what we call the projects. Um, the projects was full of crime. Uh, in my area, I was exposed to uh, drugs, a lifestyle of money, illegal money. Um, and by me being exposed to it, um, I was fascinated with the lifestyle. Although my mother didn't raise me to be like that, but I was so fascinated with the lifestyle until I decided to try it myself. I've been in shootouts. I've been uh, stabbed by an ice pick. I've been set up. Um, i almost been robbed. Um, drug deals went wrong. Um, whatever you can imagine, it happened to me. The moment that really had me to change the way I live. And Lord knows I didn't want to change because I thought I was fine. I thought everything I had, I had money, I had cars, I had clothes, I had women. Um, but the thing that changed me the most is I went to a New Year's party and uh, never drank, but I got drunk that night and found myself coming home, not knowing how I got home. And my, went to sleep, my door wide open. I didn't go to my home, but I went to my one of my spots where I kept my narcotics. And everything that happened to me in my life was revealing the dream, where I should have got shot, where drug deals went wrong, where guys from Detroit and New York was out to come get me, but they never touched me. Um, times that I knew I was shot, but I, not a stretch was on me. But when I woke up from that dream, that's when I knew that my life had to change. And now, instead of pushing dope, I'm pushing the word of God. This is nothing I asked to do. I was called to do it. I realized that the things that I thought was important are not important. And by me ministering to people who've been where I've been, it makes me feel even greater because I know I was called on this earth to do a certain task. And that was to help those who are lost. And that's what exactly what I'm doing. I remember one lady, well, I was um, selling drugs too. I was, I was her drug dealer. And hadn't seen her in years, and she comes into church. And to see me as a preacher, preaching the word now, she turned her life around. I'm in my old neighborhood, going back, teaching and preaching. And by the young guys, knowing where I've been, and knowing where I'm trying to go, they listen more to me. And they accept what I say. Because how can you tell somebody something if you've never been there yourself?